Welcome back guys and girls. This is Steven. Welcome back to EDT Eau de Treasure, my YouTube channel where I make videos about getting great fragrances in the mail and adding them to my collection. Rare, discontinued, vintage, and interesting fragrances. And this one here, I believe, is a discontinued fragrance. It has become rare, somewhat hard to find, but the prices have been going up and up and up on this one. And it doesn't even have great reviews, but I'm very curious about it. It crossed my path here in Japan. I got a good price on it, and I'm half trying this out and half adding it to my collection because it's somewhat of a modern day treasure. And I use the treasure, I use the word treasure loosely here when I'm talking about this one. So this box is opening up very easily. And this is a celebrity fragrance. So most celebrity fragrances, people kind of write them off, but actually there are a lot that are pretty good. For example, Cristiano Ronaldo has a great one called uh, Private Edition, Legacy Private Edition. That's a great one if you haven't seen that one. All right, so this one is from a famous hip-hop star called Jay-Z. Have you heard of this one, Jay-Z Gold? Let's open this one up. All right, so I saw this online, and the price... The uh, price was somewhere around something like 25 bucks, and nobody was buying it. And the seller was kind of an inexperienced seller. The seller said that they can't verify exactly how much is in it, but they think it's almost full or close to being full. So I took a little risk in buying this in that it, it could be almost empty. Who knows? I even asked the seller to put a flashlight to it. Sellers, and the seller said that you can't see inside. So let me inspect this thing and see exactly what I got. Then I'll tell you what this is, what's interesting about it. So let's look it over. The bottle is kind of nice. It's got this painted glass uh, feel to it. Jay-Z gold. It doesn't Jay-Z. Is it supposed to have a hyphen here? This is a 50 ml. 15157YV seems to be the batch code. Yep, 50ML New York, made in USA. Parlux Fragrances LLC. All right, the cap is interesting. Look how it kind of has this uh, detail to it, this gold detail. It says strength, gold, confidence value, courage. Wow, it has all these like positive words etched all over it. Isn't that interesting? Let's check out the heft. There's some heft to it too. It's metal with a plastic lining inside. Kind of a small size sprayer. All right, it's cool. It doesn't feel like it's I don't know. This might be half full. I'm going to grab my flashlight and see what the deal is with this thing. All right, let's see how much is in here. Oh, look at that. That guy said he couldn't see, th the seller said he or she could not see through the bottle with a flashlight. That's just a blatant lie, isn't it? Look at that. So it's almost full. This thing is like 90, 90% full, over 90% full. I'm happy with that. Cool. So what's special about this one? Well, the, the prices have been going up on this, and I noticed that online a few years ago. I was looking online shopping, and I bought a smaller one, like a 15 ml for 15 bucks, and I've never tried it. It just went to my house in USA, and I just thought it's going to sit there, and if it's so valuable, I'll be glad that I have a small bottle. I can just try it out. And then I saw it here, and I knew it was something special. Now, nobody was buying this here, and it sat there for a day or two. And I told the guy, if you drop the price, I'll buy it. So he dropped the price to 2,100 yen, which is 15 bucks. So I got this here for about $15, 15 bucks and change. What is it? This is your, your sweet vanilla, warm, spicy type fragrance, the kind that I like. Wintertime is perfect, but... The interesting thing about this one, this has a top note of blueberry. 
So I think it comes off as shower gel-ish to some people. And it's rated really low. It's rated like 3.8 something on Fragrantica. But I can't wait to try it out and see what all the fuss is about on this one. Let's give it a spray. There it is. Now this thing has got some issues. It sticks. But it's usable. Oh, I can smell that right away. I can smell that blueberry right away. That is interesting. Let me give you my impression after a couple minutes. I'll come back. Let me give you the note breakdown on this one real quick. Save you some time for looking it up. So the top notes are blueberry, cardamom, grapefruit, and ginger. That cardamom citrus combination is becoming so common as a top note. Middle notes, pink pepper, violet leaf, lavender, and vetiver, and the base, vanilla, amber, teakwood, and myrrh. So some, some common stuff in there. You got your vanilla, you got your cardamom, but the ginger gives it a little bit of brightness. I like that, and the blueberry is what really makes this one different. All right, guys, it's been a few minutes I've been trying this one out, just smelling it, and yes, it definitely has this blueberry scent to it. So I think what people don't like about this is it, it reminds you kind of of Bubblicious. It does have this grape or blueberry bubblegum type feel to it. Not exactly sweet. It's not like Invictus bubblegum sweet. It is kind of like this, uh, if you can think of like an oriental fragrance that has a fruity blueberry or almost a grape note to it. That's what this is. It's not bad. It's interesting. It smells nice. I just think that the blueberry turns some people off and it makes them think that it's bubble gum or something that's immature. Maybe it is. I don't know what the deal is, but for some reason they stopped making it. The prices are going up. People still want it. So I just thought it would be a cool thing to have, try out, add it to my collection. That is this hand. I like it. I, I just, I don't think it's something that I would wear every day, but I just think it's cool because it's different and it's not bad. It doesn't smell bad. Who would this be for? This is just for someone who's like young, like teenagers, people in their twenties, guys in their twenties, maybe thirties. After that, it's a little bit too sweet and playful, I think for older guys. On this hand was the video I just did. This is Nikos for men or Nikos Nikos. This is fantastic. This is much better than this one. This is also an oriental fragrance that has a coffee note to it. And it's uh, sweet, but not too sweet. The coffee is prominent. Beautiful. I'm glad I found this one. So check this video out. Up here, I'll put a link to it. Every time I go like this and put a link, they say I'm going to put a link to something, I have to go back when I'm loading it on YouTube and I have to go and remember at what time of the video to put the link. And I just give myself... Another minute of extra work, but I do it for you. <laughs> All right, that's it for this video. I don't know what else there's to say. I think I said everything. Give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, please upvote my videos, whichever ones you like. And if you don't like them, just leave them alone. You don't have to downvote them. I don't, I don't understand how people downvote videos. I mean, I guess people just don't care. But to me, like if I don't like something... Like, I don't want to upset the person and downvote it. I just kind of, like, ignore it. And it's either an upvote or a no vote. So if I give it a no vote, it's like I don't care. Well, you could do whatever you want. I want to appreciate – I want to say that I appreciate everybody who is giving me thumbs up. It's kind of like my channel's got, like, 99% thumbs up. Just some of my uh, – some of my short videos – some of my short videos get some thumbs down because hundreds of people see them, so – Anyway, subscribe if you haven't. Leave me a comment. Say hello. Really appreciate it. So that's it for this video. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out, sticking it out to the end in all my videos. And until next time, take care.